Homework today? Yeah. Good. I have my homework and I need a science book. Okay. We have a big house and we have only me and my wife, and we see our children or grandchildren maybe once every two or three weeks. So we decided to help some students, you know. So we have the Christian school. We contact them. I'm going to sign this and give it back again to you tomorrow morning so you can give it to your teacher. And they ask us if we can host children, you know, from China. and. I was very happy to. The first week he went home or at school cried and like uh, very upset and sad about like he cannot understand nothing at school and it's like a culture shock and everything is different, so he was, and he misses his home too, so that's a big challenge for him too, I think, in this young age. I have a sister, she's the same age as Ken, and I cannot imagine how she can be here without no family here. Ken is the youngest student that um, I have placed while working in the host family industry. Um, and we have started to see applications for students even younger than Ken, who we had listed as age 11 when he first applied. Most students that we have, most applicants these days, are students from China. I think that a part of this is that in China, they feel that the American education system is very strong. It is very different than the Chinese education system, and I think those parents are looking for something different. See this monkey, I can uh, sing, sing uh, to miss her. I sometimes I will uh, uh, sleep with that monkey. I think at first I was baffled, like why would a child who is 11 years old be taken to a country not of their origin and placed in a situation where you know that the pain is potentially so jolly hard. The first day with us, I have to laugh because he did what typically students who have been um, in the, the Chinese culture, he greets me with, with the um, bows and frightfully respectful, very stiff, very unsure of himself. I put the clothes in the wash machine and uh, I, the, that's my first wash clothes and I don't know how to use that. So I put many, the, the... You put too many soap suds in and what happened to your washing machine? So the, the, yeah.
my classmates is kind and uh, they are good uh, and uh, they are funny and the teacher is very good too. They uh, they teach me uh, many man. <laughs> they teach many <laughs> many things. Surrounding rock course at very slowly. He loves to make friends. He made a lot of friends at school and I see him texting them and FaceTime to them and he loves to talk to his friends and I feel like his English getting much better than at the beginning. It's been beautiful to see Ken oh, over those first few weeks learn to relax a little bit, feeling comfortable in our environment here. If you keep this here, no one can see you. Okay. And you're handsome, remember? You told me that. <laughs> Does he call himself handsome? Yeah. 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 No. Oh, yes, God. Oh, God. Oh, thank you. <laughs> when you're coming from a culture that it's always together with your family, it was difficult for him, misses his family. But I stepped in and I tried to show him United States so he can learn a lot quickly and feel that we are his parents now.